Clark, and I'd like to welcome you to a short preview of my creative space. These are the mountains outside the door of my uh, little casita, uh, a traditional Mexican brick and mortar home. As you can see uh, the bales of hay in the background. This is farm country. We're in the dry season right now as you can tell by looking. So in about a month, all of this will start to turn very green. These are the some of the foliage in the local area. These are um, a really scented flower. I can't remember. Plumeria, I believe is the name of it. And uh, really neat. Grows in the dry season as well, as well as when it's wet. And there's Krista hiding behind one. She loves those flowers. Every time she, we go around, she has to get a whiff. So she didn't expect me to capture on camera. Here's some of the high foliage of the flora and fauna around the property where we live. A lot of palm fronds and birds like to hang out up there. This is right at sunset and uh, the light levels are starting to drop. Really wonderful bird sounds this time of year. A lot of the tropical birds are returning right now. So, the uh, palm trees here are producing dates right now so they're just loaded with dates. This is a uh, inside view of my design studio. It's a multi-purpose room. Uh, that window that's shown there has a view of the lake that's down below. Uh, a very large inland lake. Uh, my computer, uh, I actually bought that computer originally to use for neural network development at UCSD in 2009. So it's a little dated. Uh, the motherboard doesn't allow more than 32 gig of RAM and for the kind of animation I'm doing, uh, it needs a lot more than that. So, I wish I had something nice to say about that microphone. It's a Blue Yeti. Used it a lot, but it had a lot of issues. Here's my setup. Um, I used to have three monitors. I've just got two now. One of them blew out. Um, my video card, the uh, GTX 750, supports four monitors simultaneously. There's a couple of uh, iClone outputs uh, and some animation sequences that I was working on. That's the Uraganji drone <laughs> model I put together at first. Uh, now there's a peak inside the processor. It's actually got a 3.2 gigahertz quad-core processor from Intel. Um, I thought I was thinking about compositing some elves inside here working on the on the board, keeping it cool and everything for this video, but uh, <laughs> I had enough on my plate. Uh, I just recently put in uh, 30, 32 gig of RAM as well, uh, based on the pin count of uh, the motherboard. I couldn't uh, I couldn't go beyond that. There's no manufacturer that's building RAM that goes higher than that, so uh, I'm kind of stuck with that. It's a Velocity Micro. I had it configured uh, using parts from Fry's in San Diego. Uh, this is a look at HitFilm 2017 Pro. Um, there's not a lot going on in the sequence here but uh, showing you the timeline playing an existing video I'm not showing any compositing or any other of the complex effects <laughs> that are available in the tool but this is a quick peek at the environment where I spend a lot of my time after I've developed something in iClone uh, to bring it over stitch PNG images together um, add effects adjust the color uh, lots of different things this is really just an absolutely fantastic tool, one of the best I think I've ever encountered. And almost everything that you do in HitFilm is keyframable, so if you're compositing an effect, you essentially can create your own quite readily because uh, you can pick where you want things to happen and when. So, can't say enough about uh, HitFilm Pro. Uh, <clears throat> here's a iClone sequence that I just put together. I was playing around with some new technology that I just purchased, Pop Videos, which allows you to essentially take a um, like a PNG picture but it has a video and composite it on top of a background which I did here with moving plants and foliage from iClone turned up the wind a little bit right there and brought a dragon in and stopped it so you could see the opacity of the plasma going through the grass so that's that's iClone absolutely fantastic tool this is version 6.53 now I'll give you a quick preview of my YouTube channel um, I guess as I last looked, there were 191 or 192 videos that I've put up there. Um, 
many of the videos that I produced are on other people's radio station channels or their their YouTube channels uh, that are not listed here and uh, <clears throat> a few of them I have included some of the big ones like Disclosure Project and Leak Project uh, have their own uh, playlist here as well so here uh, you can see the uploads and some of the more popular ones that I've done on the Nibiru topic seem to be very interesting. I did a lot of shows for the Seventh Planet broadcast this last year as well. Um, I'm opening up the Odyssey Key uh, playlist right now just to show you uh, some of the samples and demos and outtakes that I produced in here. And this is, keep in mind, this has been since January 5th. And yes, a lot of them are only 20-30 seconds long. Uh, but each one takes quite a lot of effort to produce and uh, I put out quite a lot of stuff so that you could see what is it, what it is I've been doing and you can also see the evolution of uh, what I learned since January 5th so and I plan on continuing that process and right at the end I did four videos playing around with 360 panorama that seems to be catching hold right now, and so I have the ability to produce those as well, all the way up into 4K Ultra. There's a picture of Final Draft, one of the other tools I use in my development. Uh, this is the Odyssey Key screenplay. Uh, I didn't have it configured very well, so you could see it. I was trying to bring the navigator open so you could see uh, the scene listing. So there's three acts, pretty traditional, 30 minutes in the first act, 60 minutes in the second act, and 30 minutes in the third act, pretty much by Hollywood standards. About 122 pages, and each, so about a minute a page, so it's a two-hour full-feature movie. Okay. And as I mentioned, I'm on Act 1, Scene 9 at the moment, and I scroll through just a little bit so you can see how the dialogues and things are, are looking. But uh, it's, uh, it's been finalized in its first draft form since um, September of last year. But since I started trying to implement the scenes, there's been a lot of changes to it, which I would expect. And mo most of them are for the better, as they have actually now, re now represent the scenes that I'm able to implement in the way that I did it. And, you know, some slight changes have been made in character dialogues and things. But for the most part, the story is still the same. But um, some of these composited effects and things that I learned along the way that allowed me to make it better, I, I changed it to augment that.